Hey guys, what's happening? So this uh, CR10 5S is back, and uh, it's actually having some issues with the bed. Yeah, this thing's so big I can't even get on my workbench. Um, but it won't. The bed won't heat up to uh, past 50 degrees. It fails. Like it'll get like a you know a, a warning. Basically, the uh, thermistor can't hold up the temp. But one of the things I also wanted to do was uh, I was gonna get rid of this box for the customer. Um, yeah, I can't send the original Creality like CR10s, and it came with this uh, this box, like an external box, but it never fits right with these cables. So I've already designed some parts, and um, I've already designed this mount. So I'm gonna mount everything down below the box LCD, all on the actual below the printer. Print out these legs already. I'll show you some other parts I made. So in a previous video, um, I showed you this SKR E3 Mini upgrade has an integrated trinamic 2209 drivers um, but originally the, the the system came with like an 8-bit mainboard so the, the printer is probably five years old maybe four or five years old um, but another thing too is the MOSFET that Creality put in those things uh, kind of sucked so I'm gonna upgrade the MOSFET so I designed this box Fusion 360 so I've designed all the parts except for this LCD mount but I'll, I'll give this guy credit on my uh, Thingiverse page, you know, for the uh, undermount kit for the uh, CR10 5S, the big massive printer, 500 by 500. Um, it's the biggest printer they sell. But uh, yeah, so here it goes. So uh, this will be at the undermount box. It's gonna have a has a 40 millimeter fan here, and these are to fish the wires in. Might or might not put a grom in there. But the thing goes here, like that. And uh, the MOSFET will go here. And hopefully the Ford, well, I guess I didn't really see that, but the, I just need a little bit of flow to cool this off. I mean, this is definitely an oversized, I think it's a 30 amp MOSFET. But uh, yeah, that board, I'm surprised it's, it's a 12 volt power supply. Yeah, so, um, yeah, the big this bed, it's 500 by 500. But the issue with these Creality devices is that the, uh, this is a horrible connector to be drawing that much power through. Um, so the, these wires were getting all soft and melted. I tried resoldering them, but a no go. So I'm just going to totally replace it with better wires. And yeah, these connectors are, that's like the worst thing you could do for a 3D printer. Just even resistance for like the thermistors. So all that's going to be gone. What's weird is I can never figure out also with, with Crowley is why are half of these and connectors, two are connectors and the rest are fish like that. Doesn't make any sense. So when I'm done with this, this will be a, hopefully a working printer again and uh, way more clean. So uh, yeah, way more organized, all one piece, not this external box. Yeah, so here's a closer look. So it looks like it came with a, I think it's a 50 millimeter fan. I'm gonna reuse a 40 millimeter fan in the back. Move the power over. This is the MOSFET, um, the one that controls the bed. Yeah, that bed is massive, so it's like, yeah, it, actually, surprisingly, it's, they have a 30 amp power supply in there, and that's a huge bed, so it takes a while for it to heat up. You know, pushing it, push, push, push it at like around 60 degrees Celsius is definitely a stretch. Probably wouldn't go more than 50. But yeah, that's the tiny heating in the MOSFET. It's gonna be a switch in the power input to this. So I'm actually going to try to reuse these if I can. Just pop them over here. Alright, so making progress here. I can't stand these connectors, man. They're so horrible for 3D printing. Especially if they put if a high load through it. It's not designed for like, uh, you know, 30 amps, 20 amps. You know what I mean? That's why the melt, the wire was melting. I'm actually, I, I cut it. Before I cut this out, this thing was totally melted. I actually had to cut out a bad piece of metal and that still didn't fix the problem. So. But the wires just, you know, it's not, this whole area was, when I were heating it up was, would get super hot. It says this wasn't designed for that kind of load. So, all right, I'm gonna get these off. You should be using these ferrules if you're dealing with them. You can actually solder the wires. I've done that for many years. These just actually look cool, but they're actually, they're better. They actually prevent uh, overheating. And uh, sometimes these actually will wiggle loose just if you solder them, you know? So this actually kind of helps out. I do my first print since I, Transfer everything to the bottom. I think that's mounted. So I gotta, I'm gonna turn around and uh, button up the rest of the wires. But yeah, you can really hear the uh, 2209s, how quiet they are. 
Um, yeah, this actually, the customer actually provided this thing. This is pretty cool. Like this uh, spring loaded kind of like a uh, keychain thing. It actually really helps, you know, because the problem is it's such a big bed. Like if you didn't have this there, this would want to fall over and hit the bed and uh, collide with the prints. So, all right, yeah, so, all right. Um, yeah, so I think the, the wire actually helped, the new wire, because now I'm no longer getting the, uh, at least at 50, 55 degrees. I'm not getting the uh, warning anymore with the uh, you know the bed feeling. Yeah, when you're pulling this many amps, you know you gotta have a really good wire. Um, especially you can't have any breaks. Like you can't have the connectors in there, no breaks. Um, so yeah, this is my first calibration cube since I've uh, got it working again. And then uh, take it back to the customer. So all right, so I'm done with this thing. Ready to send back to the customer. So my opinions of this printer are. Uh, I don't like it very much. Um, it's just too big and hard to deal with. Um, you know, if you're going to have a bed this big, then you should probably get like a hypercube design. Um, you're never going to get rid of ghosting with a bed this big. I mean, this thing's just horribly big. I can't even fit on my, my, my workbench. It's so big. Um, but uh, yeah, that's my custom box right there. It's all underneath now. Got the wires buttoned up. So. Yeah, did my test print. Everything seems fine. You know, if you are going to have a huge bed like this, you got to print super slow and really control the jerk. But, um, yeah, I mean, definitely not my favorite printer. So, um, yeah, just heating the bed up takes too long. Um, it's also only 12 volt power supply. I mean, this should at least be 24 volt or even 110 volt the, the, for the bed, you know, to heat it up faster and just be able to maintain heat. Uh, so I had to increase the timeouts on Marlin just so it wouldn't get any, like, because it takes so long for the bed to heat up, sometimes it would actually time out in Marlin. And, uh, you know, I'd have issues with that. But, alright, done with it. Um, looks pretty good. Alright, awesome.